Fascinating aspects of the new parliament is the way it has showcased the best of India's traditions and arts. We are at the Sangeet uh, Dirgh, which is the music gallery, which basically talks about the different traditions, music traditions of India. This is a panel dedicated to different instruments from the uh, dholak, tabla, naal to the flute and uh, beautiful instruments across India and the way they sort of uh, originated and what are their traditional names and this is a panel dedicated to um, the original instruments it showcases the original instruments used by legendary musicians of india including pandit hari prasad chavrasia to uh, ustad bismillah khan and several others and uh, so the families have come together uh, to basically donate their instruments to the sangeet gallery uh, this is a panel dedicated to the classical musicians of india so you have muthusami dikshidar you have tyagaraja you have purandar dasar from uh, tamil nadu you also have uh, the bhakti saint swami haridas by jubapra from the north of india you have uh, this is a panel dedicated uh, to um, the fountain head of indian music it the panel here says that um, this is a panel dedicated to musical concepts like shruti and swara apsaras playing different types of instruments like the veena sarangi and the basuri and it is a panel that has been inspired by the hoysaleshwara temple in karnataka this is the panel number 1 in indian tradition it's believed that the universe originated from the nada this is something that the prime minister also spoke about yesterday um so this panel basically depicts geet swar uh, tal rag and fundamental elements of indian music and also one side of it depicting the beautiful guru shishya parampara something that the prime minister often talks about this is another panel uh this is panel number 6 that talks about uh bharat muni the author of natya shastra which basically um natya shastra is a manuscript that talks about um different dance traditions and the ways of uh, ancient expressions it's considered one of uh the most iconic uh scriptures that india has produced uh this is krishna's rasa uh something that uh, we all know the different expressions from shringar to um to shant to uh bhibats uh, different different forms of uh you know lord krishna and the way he basically has controlled the universe so there is this beautiful hasya rasa there is shringar there is the rudra form of krishna there is shant and uh, there's of course him being very uh, valorous here and of course him being sympathetic here showing how this is showing lakshmana being injured in in the fight against ravana and of course here is the raudra rasa with showing up an episode from uh, um the story of prahlad and hiranyakashyap and of course the adbhut rasa where krishna holding the govardhan mountain and protecting his people so and then you also have panels dedicated to different mudras of indian classical dance and uh, this is a digital panel dedicated to different uh, art uh, dance forms of india you have kathakali mohiniyattam manipuri odissi bharatna bharatnatyam kathak and of course the natarajas uh sculpture remember even bharat mandapam the g20 uh, presidency when you also saw a huge sculpture of uh, nataraja the dancing shiva from swami malai and uh, so there are also explanatory panels for everything and this is the depiction of indian people in indian attire and it shows them practicing performing different folk and tribal dances the digital devices have also been used to explain the significance of what uh, these panels represent apart from this uh, in the new parliament there are also galleries dedicated to the way arts and crafts and architecture of india developed and the contribution of grassroots artists in the development of these fields